With the midterm elections less than two months away, President Obama is traveling the country stumping for his party's candidates. Obama will be in Wisconsin Tuesday for a rally on the UW-Madison campus, but with the president's popularity in the state lagging, are Democrats here eager to have his backing? Tonight, we have multiple views. A presidential visit can be a powerful force in helping candidates up for re-election. Anytime a president comes to a state, I mean, you're going to garner media attention, um, kind of boost morale within the party, um, and to get people invigorated to vote in the November election. But nationally, a number of Democratic candidates are attempting to distance themselves from the president and their party. In this campaign ad, Indiana Congressman Joe Donnelly touts his tough anti-immigration stance by taking shots at President Barack Obama and other Democrats. That may not be what the Washington crowd wants, but I don't work for them. I work for you. Obama will visit Wisconsin this week to stump for Democrats, and according to the most recent Badger poll, his approval rating is at 49 percent, his lowest point in the state. Some candidates may be asking for a presidential appearance, while others would just as soon not shun him, but would not think they're candidacy will be advanced a lot. Congressman Steve Kagan, who is defending his seat in a race against Reed Ribble, won't be there. He says he's not shying away from Obama, but plans to focus on his campaign that day before heading to Washington. Well, I'm working here in the district, working hard getting the job done right here at home. Senator Russ Feingold, who is in a tough re-election fight with opponent Ron Johnson, will also be a no-show. He says it's not a snub. He'll be working. I have a job in Washington where I have to do both, so... I'm going to take the votes in Washington if there are votes, but I would love to be there. Feingold appeared with the president in Milwaukee last month, but recently skipped another visit by Obama on Labor Day, leading some to question his support for the commander-in-chief. I love being with the president. I think he's uh, working as hard as he can for America, and it's a non-issue. In fact, only gubernatorial candidate Tom Barrett confirms he will appear at Obama's rally in Madison. His campaign says Barrett welcomes the help. Tom has, has appeared with the president before, uh, and, you know, I, it, it's not, not been a, a real big issue, and here's why. At the end of the day, you know, voters are going to compare Tom Barrett and Scott Walker and their records and their messages and their vision. Political experts point out Wisconsin did vote for Obama, and despite a falling approval rating, his numbers are still up there. He is still popular um, among most American citizens, so that'll be a big draw for um, individuals in the state of Wisconsin. Now, Tuesday's rally is one of four rallies Obama has planned in swing states leading up to the November 2nd election. Michelle Obama is also hitting the road for Democrats who are anxious to use her star power. Polls show she's more popular than her husband. Mrs. Obama will headline nine fundraisers next month, including one in Milwaukee for Feingold. Barack Obama will appear at Library Mall at the University of Wisconsin tomorrow. That's right next to the Student Union. It's also where State Street which leads to the Capitol, begins. Singer-songwriter Ben Harper will also appear with the president. The last time Obama was at the university was in 2008, when he was still a candidate for office. Minnesota and Wisconsin are among the states that had the highest voter turnout in the 2008 presidential election. A study by the Corporation for National and Community Service finds that Minnesota ranked first with 70.8 percent. And Wisconsin ranked fourth with 68.5 percent voter turnout. Maine and New Hampshire were second and third. The poorest turnout was in Hawaii, just 46.8%. Uh, the national average was, uh, for a voter turnout was 58.2%. The study also looked at the nation's largest cities. Columbus, Ohio led the country with voter turnout of 73.5%. Milwaukee, by the way, ranked eighth with voter turnout of 68%.